Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It gives us x cubed plus y cubed whole thing cubed is equal to x to the ninth plus y to the ninth. And we're also given that x times y equals negative two. And it wants us to find out what is x plus y. If you wanna try this one, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. This thing to the third power is the exact same thing as multiplying this by itself three times. First, let's multiply this times this. It ends up giving us x to the six plus two x cubed y cubed plus y to the six. And then from here, we wanna multiply all of this out. After we multiply this, it ends up becoming all of this. From here, let's set the whole thing equal to zero. Let's subtract x to the ninth from both sides and let's subtract y to the ninth from both sides. On the left-hand side, these cancel each other out. So we have three x to the sixth y cubed plus three x cubed y six. And on the right-hand side, everything cancels out. We're left with zero. Let's get rid of this coefficient. Let's divide everything by three. That'll give us x to the sixth y cubed plus x cubed y to the sixth is equal to zero. Now from here, we can pull out a GCF. Each of these terms contains an x cubed that can be pulled out, and they each contain a y cubed that can be pulled out. After we pull out x cubed, y cubed from the first term, we're left with x cubed. And then for the second term, after we pull x cubed, y cubed from this term, we're left with y cubed. And that's still equal to zero. And now let's focus on this GCF. Since they're both to the power of three, we can rewrite this as x, y cubed. And now this x, y is something that we were given. In the place of the x, y, we can plug in negative two. And negative two cubed is equal to negative eight. And that really cleaned up this x cubed, y cubed. From here, we can divide both sides by negative eight. And we're left with x cubed plus y cubed is equal to zero. Now, what are we gonna do with this? This is x cubed plus y cubed, or in other words, the sum of two cubes. Let's use the notes for sum of two cubes. If you ever have a cubed plus b cubed, it's equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Or in our case, we have x cubed plus y cubed, and that'll be equal to x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. So this changes into this, and it's still equal to zero. I'm noticing an x, y. In the place of this x, y, let's substitute negative two. Anytime you have something times something equal zero, you can set either of those somethings equal to zero. And this x plus y equals zero, that is what we were trying to solve. x plus y is equal to zero. This is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. I already posted this video once where I showed this is the solution, but a lot of people wanted to see the imaginary solutions that came from here. So let me show you how to get those. First step, we can subtract two from both sides. That gives us x squared plus y squared is equal to negative two. And then to clean this up, we're gonna use the notes for the perfect square trinomials. In the notes, we have an x squared and a y squared, and we have an x squared and a y squared here, but we're missing the two xy. So let's add two xy to both sides. On the left-hand side, we'll have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And on the right-hand side, we'll have negative 2 plus 2xy. Now, on the left-hand side, because of these notes, this will all change into x plus y squared. And then on the right-hand side, in the place of this xy, we can plug in negative 2. And now we're done with these notes. On the right-hand side, this 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4. So we have negative 2 minus 4, which is negative 6. And then let's bring down the left-hand side. Next, we can square root both sides. On the left-hand side, the square root and the square root will cancel each other out. So we have x plus y. And on the right-hand side, this negative six can be changed into negative one times six, and then each of them can have their own square root. And the square root of negative one is equal to the imaginary number i. So we end up with x plus y is equal to plus or minus i root six. These are the complex solutions that everybody wanted to see. Let's put a box around it. So we have the real solutions and the complex solutions. How exciting. And then here's the next question. Evaluate sine of the quantity cosine inverse root two over two plus tangent inverse of root three over three. This looks like a fun one. How exciting. 